Hi, I'm Jamie Kimmett and I'm from a small town on the west coast of Scotland called Kilmarnock. I had a family that loved me very much, but we went to church probably once or twice a year. So God wasn't a big part of the way that we lived our lives. I thought that I was going to pursue football and become professional. But when I was 16 years old, my dad bought me a guitar and that really uh, changed my life in terms of writing songs and pursuing music. And so when, when I graduated music school, I put a couple songs up on the internet and within a couple of days of putting the songs up, I got a message from a management company out in Los Angeles and they wanted to, to fly me out. And that's how my journey into music and faith really began. And so all these doors are, are kind of opening in the pop world. But the funny thing was, everywhere I went, people were talking to me about God. I said, the next person that invites me to church, I'll go. And so I ended up in this uh, service in Bakersfield, California, and I'll, I'll never forget this, the, the guy was preaching from Genesis chapter three. And when he shared the gospel, that Jesus came to die on the cross for me, that was probably the most powerful moment of my entire life. And within a week or two of, of coming to faith, I got the biggest opportunity that I'd ever had, a meeting with a major record label, and they offered me a deal. The way that they wanted to, to promote me and, and to put, put me together as an artist, I, I just wasn't sure. And so I flew back to Scotland to try and make my mind up about this record deal and I found myself in a Bible study trying to figure out what the right thing to do was and the verse was Thou shalt not sacrifice your firstborn child from the gods of Molech and I needed something practical you know and so I, I said to Lorna the person I was doing the study with I, I just don't think this is the advice I'm looking for This woman Lorna is my best friend today and has managed me for five or six years God brings people into your life for a purpose and his timing's always right. I flew back out to Los Angeles and I'm sitting in the meeting with the executives. This one guy looks at me and says, look, I don't know what your problem is. There's people that would sacrifice their firstborn child for this opportunity. And I was shocked. I couldn't believe he said those words. God speaks through his word. And so I, I turned the deal down and I knew that whatever, whatever it was, whatever path he had for me, it was gonna be better to go with God than to go against him. Some music it seemed to be on pause for a minute, and so I, I moved down to London to go to a Bible college, and was was feeling that maybe God was calling me to ministry, and I was on the staff with a Baptist church in London, and the way that this is funny actually because the way I paid my rent was I would busk on the streets of London perform, and so every weekend I would go to Big Ben, and I would play pop music for like three hours, and the last hour once my rent was paid. I would just worship. And it was that year that, that I began to feel a pull towards Christian music. Christians from all over the world, from Spain, from Mexico, from China, from, from America, were, were coming up to me and saying, can I pray for you? I just feel like you need to use your voice to serve God. And so I went home that day and I was like, okay God, I, I know what you're saying. Now I'm out in Nashville, I'm, I'm making Christian music about my faith, about the gospel. And I'm so excited to, to have that opportunity.